Hi, this is Ben from Online Marketing Consultant. In this video I'm going to show you how to download and use an FTP program. So what is an FTP program? FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol and is used to upload web pages and other documents from a computer to the internet. So first what you would do is download a free FTP client. So go to Google and type in FTP client. Click on search and you want to choose the first one here which is FileZilla. I find this one the easiest easiest to use plus it's free and we all have free. So click on that one. Now click on download FileZilla client and click on the top one if you use Windows. Um, this one if you use Linux and these ones if you use Mac. Uh, Apple Mac. So click on that. So files that I should start to download to your computer. Once you've downloaded it, you should get a file that looks like this. Um, double click on this and just install it like you would with any other software. And once it's installed, you'll uh, you'll get another icon that looks just the same. So double click on FileZilla Client and here's me on my FTP program. So how do we use it now? What you need to do is log in using your hosting account details such as the username and password. To do this simply click on the site manager icon which is this one up in the top left corner here. Click on here and that will open the site manager dialog box. This is where you'll add your information to create a, a new user. So click on new site. And for this example, I'm just going to call this test. But I would call it your name or the name of your website that you're building. OK, so that's us in here. The only tab we need to worry about here is the general tab, which is already selected. And where it says host in the box here, this is where you'll put in FTP dot, for me, I'm using servage.net as my hosting. So whatever your hosting domain name is, you would just put it in here. So like say godaddy.com or whatever. So mine would be FTP dot servage dot net. Um, you don't need to worry about port, that will sort itself out. Um, protocol FTP file transfer protocol that's fine encryption that's fine just leave that log log on type anonymous change it to normal user this would just be the username and the password you would use to log on to your hosting so you just add that and type that into there mm. And then I would use my password here. And then you just click on OK. Sorry, I mean click on Connect. And that once you do that, that FileZilla should begin to fire up your information with your websites, etc. Yours may look a wee bit different. Um, I'll, I'll go on to my own one that I've set up before. This is it loading up directory list and successful. So here's all my websites down on the right hand side here. So depending on what hosting you're using, uh, your file structure might look a wee bit different. But here I've got a folder for each website. Um, inside these folders it has the index about an images folder. And that is where I would upload my files to. So we are logged in now. And I'll show you how to actually transfer a file from your computer onto your website or hosting. This is how simple it is. All you have to do is simply drag and drop your, f your files, for instance. This, on the left hand side here you can see this is actually my computer. The my computer logo here. And you've got my desktop and all the documents there. And on the right hand side, this is what's actually in my hosting. And it's got all the websites on my hosting account. So, 
for an example, if I wanted to add a services page to this website here, what I would do is go to my desktop, choose the folder that I'm wanting to where I'm wanting to find the file. So I'll add the SEO services to say this site here. All I done there was click click on this, drag it and drop it into there. And you'll see up here it says file transfer successful. So that means that that's been transferred. So if I went to aabuildersservices.co.uk forward dash SEO under dash services.html that I would be able to see that page online now. What I would call these folders here, I would call them the website root folder. And what I mean by a root folder is it's the if you drag and drop this SEO services into the here into the root folder, it's not in any folders inside this, it's on the root folder and not in any secondary folders. You can actually upload multiple pages and folders at once by holding down control then clicking on the files and folders that you're wanting to upload then clicking on one of them drag in and dropping them in there and that will move all these folders over also say you, you've updated your SEO services website and you're wanting to upload it to the site but the site already has that folder in there this is what will happen it will ask you if you want to overwrite it and if you do just click on apply to current queue only and um, it will select that as well but that's fine then click OK and that will replace and upload the new, the new file and again it will tell you up at the top here that the file has been transferred successfully also you don't actually have to transfer everything through your FTP you can actually drag and drop files from your des desktop like this so go to your desktop and if you want to so you're wanting to keep the FTP program open still you just want to minimize it and if you want to get a file from your desktop or your folders you just have to click on it hold it down drag and that will open up your FTP file and then just drop it into the website that you want to you want to put the image into and you'll see here that that's it transferred so all you're really doing is dragging and dropping you're taking a file from your folder on your computer and dropping it into the correct area on your web hosting and that's how easy it is another thing I would like to say is if a web if you had a web if you have a website sorry with an index page or a contact page and images folder you need to keep all these files and images in the same folder for example if your site is called AA builders like this one here you need to have all the pages and images folders within and within the AA builders folder like mine I'll go into this one here so you see the images and then there's the pages and you need to keep this folder structure for each new website that you make to keep the FTP working properly so you see that that's got the images in here in this folder in a secondary folder and in here you would say this SEO services is in the root folder of the website and that's it. You now know how to use an FTP client to upload your website and make it live on the internet. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel or leave a comment if you have any questions. For more video tutorials, please visit my website at onlinemarketingconsultant.co.uk. Thanks.